Good morning, everyone. Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. Today, I want to show you how to export recorded video surveillance footage using my Viewtron home security camera system. And I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Uh, I use this camera that you see behind me to monitor my driveway, and I have an intrusion detection zone set up after hours. I, I turned it on during the day right now, so I can go through this example. But basically, if anyone comes into my driveway late at night, uh, that gets bookmarked as an event on the NVR, and I can easily go back and search through those events. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of those, uh, those intrusion events and export that recorded video surveillance footage to a USB thumb drive. Uh, that's using the AI cameras on my house. The second way I'm gonna show you, and that this, the second way is applicable to all types of security cameras, IP and BNC cameras using our Viewtron system, is simply playing back video using the timeline scrubber on the DVR, and then selecting a segment of video, that could be a segment from one camera or multiple cameras, and then exporting those vi that video surveillance footage to the thumb drive. Uh, I'm gonna jump over to the NVR now, and run through it. Here's the live security camera display on my NVR, and I'm gonna be controlling everything right now with the USB mouse. Uh, this is the camera that I'm gonna play back the recorded video from, the one that monitors my driveway. So the first thing I'm gonna do is from the main menu, I'm gonna select Intelligent Analytics. This is the screen where you can select all the different types of uh, AI events uh, that occurred. So I'm gonna to select today's date, and I'm gonna select my driveway camera, and then I have an intrusion detection zone basically around my driveway, so the type of event I'm looking for is intrusion. This is now gonna display a thumbnail image of all the events uh, that occurred of that type and during that time frame. And uh, if, you, if you tap on one of these thumbnails, it, it shows a small playback window in the lower left. But what I wanna do is select one and open the full screen uh, video player. Uh, that's what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna make note of when this event started. That's why I paused the video there for a second. It started around uh, 8.42 a.m. And then I'm just going to uh, you'll watch the event and basically make a mental note of uh, when the event ended. So I know the time frame that I want to select for the video export. So when I'm ready to do that, I'm going to pause the video and then you'll notice there's uh, this timeline uh, scrubber over here on the left. And I can basically uh, click and drag the mouse over a time frame on that timeline scrubber to select uh, a segment of uh, time that's recorded. Once I selected the time frame, I can click this backup button and then select backup. I already have a USB thumb drive inserted into the front USB port on the NVR. So uh, that's, this, th that's the device here, that, that, that's my USB thumb drive. And I have a whole bunch of stuff on there. So I'm gonna create a new folder for this export. And I'm just gonna name this folder, uh, you know, 7-1 for July 1st. And we'll call it 7-1 uh, event. Once that folder is created, I'm gonna select it as the destination for this video export, and then click backup. Uh, sorry, one other thing. I'm gonna, for the video format, I'm gonna select AVI because I wanna play this back on my Mac. And uh, if I export an AVI, then I can play back this video on uh, Windows and Mac, whereas the private format uh, exports a video player, but that, but that uh, portable player that it exports only works on Windows. So if you wanna play back on Mac and Windows, select AVI. Uh, AVI also makes it more uh, easier to send to third parties because it's kind of a universal format. They won't need any specific type of player. It'll work uh, again on Windows and Mac. So it's going to take uh, about a minute for this to export. You know, depending on how large your export is, uh, it, it could take a decent amount of time for larger ones. You can tap the run in background uh, button here if you want to just put that in the background and, and do other things on the NVR. I'm just going to speed up the video here for a second to get through this. When the export is done, you can click on the exit X in the lower right hand corner and then close out the intelligent analytics screen. That'll bring you back to the live view. 
I want to show you another way to export video. So you can open up this uh, playback screen and I'm going to change the display from the single camera view to the multi camera view because I want to sh basically want to show you here that it, it, Last time we selected one camera to export, so now I'm going to select all four of these. So the same process, you select all four cameras and the time frame, and then click that backup button. Um, it displays, I didn't go over this before, the, the first screen that displays here, it shows you the start time and the end time that you selected, uh, the total duration and the total size that's going to take up on the uh, drive that you're exporting to. And I'm not actually going to uh, run this back up, but the process, as you could see, is the same from this point forward. You select the cameras, select the time frame, and then click backup. If I, if I did this, it would open up that screen where I can select the destination on my thumb drive. Okay, I'm going to jump over to my MacBook computer now. And what I did was I took the USB thumb drive out of the port of the DVR, uh, inserted it into the USB drive from my MacBook, and I just copied the video file uh, to my desktop. You could see it here. So I'm going to right click on it now and open with the VLC player. Uh, we found that the, the VLC player, this is a free open source video player uh, for Mac and Windows, uh, just is really compatible with all the different video formats out there and, and does a really good job. So that's this is what we use and recommend to customers to play back video on Mac. Uh, you can see I can use uh, this bar down here to move the video uh, forward and reverse to get to the exact point that I want to get to. So I'm just jumping around a little bit. Uh, again, we're, we're playing back the exported video now on my MacBook. Uh, it would look just the same on Windows. I could use the VL VLC player also on Windows uh, to play back this exported video. And you could see the uh, quality is quite good. As you could see, exporting recorded video surveillance footage on Viewtron, DVRs, and NVRs is extremely easy, uh, point and click with the mouse. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we love these systems and why they have become our best-selling uh, systems. If you have any questions about any of this uh, or anything related to video surveillance, uh, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. I could be reached at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. If you want to learn more about these Viewtron security camera systems, uh, we have DVRs, NVRs, IP cameras, BNC cameras, uh, 1080p resolution, 4 megapixel and 4K resolution, uh, dome, bullet, all kinds of styles. We have LPR cameras, uh, really solutions for any home business or government application. Uh, for more information on this, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com slash Vutron. Thank you for watching.